Hi everybody, it's Honest John, and uh, I'm going to take you for a quick walk around my neighborhood just to show you something. Now, if you live in a city, this is probably something that you've seen a lot of already. But, if you live in the suburbs or out in the country or a small town, you probably haven't. Now, right up there, sitting in the middle of the sidewalk, is a little scooter. Doesn't belong to the people that live there, though. You can you can rent these. And here is another one right here. Now what you do is you, I guess you get an app, and then and you scan your phone, and that's how you start the scooter. Costs a dollar to start it up, and then I think it's 18 cents per minute. Here's another one. Just lying on the ground here. Cause see, you, when you when you rent it. Then when you get where you're going, you just turn it off, and you just leave it there. You don't have to return it anywhere. Here's another one. Here's two more. And these are from a company called Bird. But there's several different com com companies doing it. So here is a whole bunch of them. Just sitting on the sidewalk here, and they're from uh, a different company, so you have to get several different phone apps. And here's another one here, and it's not just scooters, you can get bikes. Here are three bikes, and it's free to unlock them. Uh, the scooters cost a buck to unlock, so it's free to unlock the bike, and then uh, I think it is still uh, 18 cents a minute, although I've heard that price is going up. And there's another company, and this is a different company. These bikes, this bike here has a basket on it, so if you go and shopping, it's a little more convenient. You can, and, and right up the street there, let me, let me uh, bring that in a little closer. And right up the street there, you can see there's three or four more. And like I said, you don't have to return them anywhere. You just, when you're done with them, you just leave them wherever you are. And here's another bike here. Oh, the company here on this one is uh, Jump. Uh, and it's just 15 cents a minute, not 18 cents a minute. Free to unlock. You just have to get an app on your phone to do it. And uh, this is going to end our walk, but then I'll go inside. I'm going to talk a little bit. About it. Before I go in, here's another. Here's three more of these scooters. And uh, as you can see, these are green. So it's a whole different country. So you, company. So you have three different companies uh, doing this. This looks like it's called Lime S. See right there. And. Uh, you have at least three different co companies, maybe four, all doing the same. So, I hope you enjoyed our little walk. Now, like I said, there's three different companies all in competition uh, for this. And, and like I said, the scooters and the bikes, they're just everywhere. And you don't have to bring them back or anything. You just start them up, go where you're going, and then shut them off and leave them where you are. Uh, now, it's an interesting business model. So far, it's not making a profit. Because, first of all, people do try to steal these things. Now, I think that they do have tracking mechanisms on them because there are technicians that roam around the city at night finding these bikes, recharging them sometimes, or else making sure that, uh, that uh, or repairing them if they need repairs. I, don't, I think sometimes they can repair them right on the spot or they bring them into a shop and repair them. But, in order for them to make a profit on a, on a bike, it has to stay in service for at least 180 days, half a year. And so far, the bikes average about 120 days, which isn't bad, but it means that they're, they're losing money on each bike. Now, they expect that with improvements, uh, that they will be able to meet that 180-day mark. 
and also uh, to prevent theft because people will try to steal those things and then bring them home and try to hack into them and either uh, make it so that they don't have to uh, pay to ride around in them. Uh, but I think they do have some tracking devices on them so, uh, so uh, if they don't then they definitely should. But like I said, so far it's not successful, but six months ago you would not have seen any of these things. And now they're everywhere around the city. Uh, and I'm sure it's like that in just about every major city in the country. So far it's losing money, but if they can figure out a way to make this a profitable enterprise, it will, uh, it, it could be a pretty good thing. It, uh, um, of course, now there's problems like people riding without helmets, uh, people riding on the sidewalk, people uh, uh, riding in the street. They're much less visible, especially the scooters are much less visible to, to cars. So people have to be careful. There are, and you know, people can smack into other people, I was hit pedestrians or get bumped by cars. So it can be a little dangerous. That's why I don't use them. At my age, like when I was a kid, falling down, you got back up and you went on about your business. But at my age, falling down can mean, uh, you know, a major life catastrophe. So that's what's going, the latest thing that's going on here in the city. Thanks for listening. Well, I want to thank you all for watching my videos. But... There are certain changes that Google has made to YouTube, which since I'm a smaller channel, means that I can't monetize my videos. So I found places where I can. So instead of watching my videos here on YouTube, I'd appreciate it if you'd go either to Patreon or to uh, Top Buzz. Uh, they, they let me monetize videos and I don't even have to put commercials on so, if you want to become a patron on Patreon, that's fine. If you don't, you can still watch the videos there. I've just kind of given up on YouTube. YouTube is just a place that I use so that I can put my videos in other places. So, Patreon, Top Buzz, the links are in the description box. Thanks a lot.